Even at night, there is no respite. The fires are burning out of control here. It's the weather that's to blame. 1,800 firefighters are working flat out in British Columbia, spread across hundreds of miles. But they're up against hot temperatures and winds. The flames have the advantage here. Towns like Boston Flats have literally gone up in smoke. There is not much for residents to return to. Homes lost at this Indian reservation too. Some pets died. Optimism is their only defence now. There is hope. I know everything looks black right now, but you know, it's going to turn green. And so uh, we'll make it a better place. Others have been evacuated or they are under evacuation alert, like the town of Williams Lake. The fires keep getting dangerously close to this place. 10,000 people have to be ready to run any second, with residents of other nearby areas living each day as it comes. I'm hoping to be home by this weekend. That's what I've been told, but we hear other reports it could be two, three weeks. Uh, everybody's just grasping at straws trying to get home. There are hundreds of fires burning in British Columbia. Authorities say more than a dozen are out of control, and they are the ones they are really concerned about. This is as close as we can get to this particular fire, which is fine for a camera crew, but for firefighters, it is a real problem because all of this terrain is totally inaccessible. So what they're having to do is target the fires from the air. They come down to nearby rivers, they fill with water, then they go back up and they drop the water from above. But in some places, they can't even do that because the smoke in the sky is so thick, the planes can't come down. Meanwhile, the evacuation centres continue to fill up. More than 14,000 people out of their homes. People are stressed, they are worried, they are angry. The Red Cross being criticised by some who have no place else to go. And they may be here for a while yet. Strong winds and lightning are expected in the coming days. More evacuations very likely. This state of emergency not set to end anytime soon. Phil Lavelle, CGTN, Little Fort in British Columbia.